November 1949, Prague, Czechoslovakia. A young scientist by the name of Karel de Brawl walked into the patent office with an application for what he thought was a great cost savings idea. Little did he know that while his idea would be ridiculed for decades, it would later prove to be revolutionary. De Brawl was trying to address a problem. Shaving razors were in short supply in Eastern Europe. The longer one could make a blade last, the better. De Brawl had been following the studies of Anton Bovis, a 1930s French ironmonger and pendulum dowsing author. Bovis had noticed that the items in the king's chamber within the Great Pyramid seemed to take longer to spoil than those just outside of the chamber. De Brawl, having a background in magnetics, believed that it might have something to do with the alignment of the Earth's magnetic field. After trial and error, De Brawl discovered that a straight razor's edge would degrade more slowly when stored underneath the pyramidal shape and aligned to the Earth's north-south magnetic field. The patent office initially refused his application until they could replicate his findings in their own experiments. Much to the surprise of many, they did in fact reach the same results and thus awarded him the patent. While the test by Gibral and the patent office showed positive results, there was no scientific data or explanation as to the how and why this worked. Because of this, few took the discovery seriously. For decades, amateurs would try to duplicate the results without success. Many claimed the idea was a mere flight of fancy, citing that there is no evidence that pyramids possess mystical powers. Even the popular TV show Mythbusters ran an experiment attempting to keep food fresher using pyramid power, but with no success. Over the decades, many continued to call Gibral's assertions hokum, until 2001 when noted physicist Dr. Vladimir Kosnoholovitz, the preeminent condensed matter physicist attached to the Institute of Physics, Academy of Sciences in Kiev, Ukraine, was working on commercialization techniques of the inerton theory, the recently discovered phenomenon of elementary particles moving through space and their effect on matter. Using the applications of inerton theory, Dr. Kosnoholovitz discovered the microbes thrive within various geometric shapes when aligned with the Earth's magnetic field. On a hunch, he replicated Gibral's experiments using scientific methods and modern measuring equipment. He soon discovered that, in fact, Gibral was correct. Dr. Kosnoholovitz published his findings along with the data and pictures in notable peer-reviewed scientific journals. Dr. Kosnoholovitz concluded that the power is not from the pyramid, as Gibral speculated but from the inerton field aligned with the magnetic lines. The geometric shape merely helps to align the particle field. It is important to note that while these findings are conclusive, the actual difference between the razor blades in the control group and those placed in the pyramid is minute and only detectable using a high-powered electron microscope, making Drabal's initial assertions back in 1949 more of a subjective opinion than fact, considering he did not possess the tools needed to actually prove his hypothesis. Did the Egyptians know of this phenomenon, or did they just make a logical architectural decision when designing the pyramids? Regardless, since 2001, more than 700,000 patents have been applied for, utilizing the principles found in inerton theory. From universities to governments, everything from biological research to food containers and storage have been employing the principles of this discovery. While research is ongoing in understanding the effects, the results are conclusive making the Trabal patent one of the most enigmatic mysteries of our time.